आएगा जितेंद्र सिंह राठौर ही नाउ गोना टेल यू हाउ टू क्री हाउ टू डिप्लॉय एन एप्लीकेशन वेब एप्लीकेशन सो वो सो फर्स्ट चेक तो नोट एजेंट डेट इज आप और नोट सो दे इज नो नोट सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू क्रिएट नोट एंड गो टू द प्रोफाइल मैनेजमेंट टूल एंड क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट नाउ कस्टम प्रोफाइल एंड टू द नेक्स्ट एंड एडवांस प्रोफाइल क्रिएशन and the next and to the as default it wants and now for the federation of the nord you have to check the you have to check uh, where what the port address is and what is the deployment manager default port and so port so he is with go the port for the port and now after it use uh, Check out the port so port address here it triple eight zero so cop simply copy the IP address of the uh, PC and uh, and paste in the deployment when I the IDs address so uh, and to provide the password you use uh, in before. That was admin and admin, and Fedor is not less. Fedor is not. Uh, so it will create a new default person certificate, and now to the next and less created. It gonna take um, two to five minutes to create the custom profile. Fed it with the DMGR, which you created earlier. So the manage uh, <coughs> profile management tool created the profile successfully, and profile creation is successfully and finish. <coughs> and <coughs> now we're gonna see the profile in Nordisent. Which we created, but it is it is not refreshed, so we should log out and then log in again by admin and admin. <coughs> so let's check out whether it is present or not. So yes, it is there, and the sign signal is for up. It is if we click on, uh, then it is show started. So now we're gonna create an. Uh, we have to deploy and uh, application on it. So first, we need to create a server. So create on web application server. Create a new, and uh, there, that's the only node is present there. Uh, select the node which are inside the select node, and now uh, put any server name. Let's put server one. And next, and do the next default profile is there. Then generate a plugin ports. And next, and the summary of the action finish. Finish it. Now it's gonna create a web application server. So review, and uh, it's gonna uh, by selecting the review. The syn uh, synchronizing happen by automatically, so you don't have to synchronize it um, from outside. So save it, and there's gonna show uh, what was the synchronizing with the node and the current status of the node being synchronized. So 
check it. The configuration synchronization started for sale. Syn automatic synchronization mode is disabled for node. Uh, configuration synchronization started for node. Uh, completely synchronization. There's so click on OK and server is created. So now start the server. There is also some uh, buttons that we create new server, delete templates. Whether you want to add uh, same kind of server, start, stop, and you can restart the server immediately. Stop. You can stop this one on. You can terminate the server. So it will take about. So my server is up, uh, and the message is server. Uh, one is started successfully. Now we'll go to the applications and click the new application. And we want to uh, deploy an enterprise application. So on new application, choose the path where it is. So so let's check uh, the application format in the website will be .ear or .var for enterprise application we should choose .ear and for the web applications we should choose .var .war so choose the location and to the next and should be uh, path fast part little part is up to you how much you are allowed and do the next simply and now we're gonna check the all uh, servlets, uh, modules, and web applications. And now select this one because only this is, is only present here. And apply. Then next. And then it's gonna finish summary and then finish. Then it's gonna show all the stream. And review it and now it's gonna synchronize the changes with the node and save the changes and there's our application it's not up by default so we go inside the application and here's a uh, view deployment descriptor so here we have the context root of the profile so just copy it from here and go back on the plant by website and apply or ok whatever you want to do then here to the actions you want to start then you can start and you can stop both you can do uh, let's start this application and uh, click on the submit action so you can see that signal it is started started uh, now the check the port on which the application is deployed Per application and the virtual host, host and it will show the web plant web application and everything and so 
<coughs> we go to the uh, web click the server where we created where we deployed the application and click on the server and now check the ports for application and it wanna show uh, it is right here uh, WC default host it is 9084 so go to the admin console and uh, click on local host uh, 90 because our port is 9084 so we select 9084 and after that plant by web sphere so click in it now it's gonna show that a virtual group on host handling localhost because uh, this problem coming because we it is not defined in the virtual host so go to the virtual host and environment on the default host host aliases and create the new and the port is 9084 okay to the changes synchronize the change and okay now it is there so now go to the admin console and refresh it and so you should uh, stop the server for uh, being the change so stop it okay and here the status is partially stopped and now check the application application is also stopped because in it is unavailable because we have stopped the server now it is it is partially stopped so just click on it and start it again Started successfully, and now we're gonna, be gonna try that again. So, the our application is running, and this this is an example of application. Uh, there are no such tabs and shopping cart login, but it's just a perform of application. So, that's how we're gonna deploy an application by creating our custom profile and creating an application server that's it for the day thank you